Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Come on Amen. on, everybody. Amen. I know we're late, but come on on, everybody. Praise oh, the Lord, Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on on, everybody. Come on, thanks of God. Hallelujah. Come Glory. on Hallelujah. on, everybody. Come on on, everybody. Yeah. Come on on, everybody. Hallelujah. We are not on on our usual time. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But we are here. Jump in. Jump <laughs> we in. We are here. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. God bless you, Sister Beverly. <laughs> Praise Jump on the in. Lord, everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We are here. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes it seems like everything that can go wrong. Go wrong. Power went out about what, about, about 4.30? Yes, it did. Hey, everybody. Look at Hallelujah. my family coming on. Come on. Oh, everybody. Brandis. Hey, Brandis, my friend Vaughn, my Hallelujah. cousin Keisha. Amen. Juanita. Let me tell you guys, right at, you want to tell them that? No, no, no. Go ahead. You want to Y'all, I mean, power had a complete outage. Completely power. I mean, nobody power. on our street had power. Right. Nobody had power. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right, Keisha. But I'm going to tell you guys, God is so good. We had people calling us, texting us, want to know what's going on. Why y'all not doing the live? Hey, Bridget, what's going on? But I'm going to tell you what the devil uh, what, 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 what the devil meant for bad. God yeah. turned around for good. Praise God. Because when Georgia power, thank God. That's right. That's right. Georgia Power come right on out here and got everybody on the street going. Glory to God. And it was so funny because everybody else on other streets had power. But That's I guess right. it was a transformer or something that was yes. knocked out. Yes, yes. But how the other God got us going back. So everybody was uh, like, for the few people, they was like, well, y'all ain't gonna go live. I said, well, no, we gonna count. No, go live. Go live. Go live. So we are here. Glory, 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 glory. glory. <laughs> we are here. Hey, Katana. We hear y'all. We hear. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Yes, God. And we are so thankful for you guys being patient, uh, supporting us, loving us. You guys don't know what it means to me to hear about um, how, you know, you enjoy the life and how it bless you and, and just different things that really touches my heart. Because I'm going to tell you, we can reach one person. Hallelujah. We've done what God has instructed us to do. And I am so uh, thankful. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hey, Sister Gilda. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on on, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Praise baby, you Jesus. want to say something? No, baby. We're going to get ready to go because we, <laughs> yes. we, we know we're a little late. We're a whole lot late. But y'all just hanging here with us. Amen. Yes. We thank God for all of you. Praise, Praise the Lord. God. Thank y'all for praying for us. Again, these sometimes things happen that is beyond our control. Amen. And of course, we can't Amen. control the power situation. But thank God That's that they right. did get thank the lights restored. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So we thank you guys for hanging in here with Amen. us. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And we're not going to be before you too long, I don't think. <laughs> But nevertheless, <laughs> uh, we just, Queen and I, we just so elated and just delighted to just be here because yes, we had, you know, I had kind of decided, so we were just going to just postpone. Yeah, tonight. he had we, said we just yeah. won't do it, but <laughs> we had different people. I had Hallelujah. my God, brother, he's not here tonight. Praise the Lord. He Hallelujah. said, well, let's just do a conference call. Let's do something. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory oh, to God. Oh, my God. My Thank God. you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> he should say, right on time, the word, never too late. Praise <laughs> God. Cause Glory to God. That Hallelujah. is so, so true. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, Hallelujah. glory to God. Hallelujah. Queen, we're going to let you go. just lead us in prayer. All right. And just, just go to the Lord. Short word to the Lord. of prayer. Thank Everybody you. bring your minds in. Let's go before the throne room of grace. Father God, right now in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. God, we come to you humble before you, God, just giving you thanks. Lord, we're just reverencing you for being the God that you are, the great I am. And Lord, we just thank you for this evening. We thank you for bringing us together one more time. Didn't have to do it, but you did it anyway. And we give you thanks and honor for that. Lord, we just want to thank you for everything good and it's, and bad. We thank you for both, God. Because yes, we know if it had not been for you on our side, we don't know where none of us would be. And God, praise. we just thank you. We give you praise right now, God, for being so kind and being so good and being so merciful to us. Looking beyond every fault and meeting our need, God. Hallelujah, we thank you for that, God. Hallelujah, we thank you for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way, God. Heavenly Father, we just give you all the honor. Hallelujah, Lord. We look around us, God. Death is on every side. But God, we'll still we get here. Hallelujah. Millions didn't make it, but we are one of the ones that did. And for that, God, we say thank you. But Lord, we ask you to cover every bereaved family right now, God. Lord, lift up every hun down head, God. Lord, you can cover every heart right now, God. You know what everybody's standing in need of, God. And we thank you for what you're going to do, God. Heavenly Father, for you have blessed us from the rocking of our cradle up to this present time. 
Lord, you'll bless our families, our children, our grandchildren, our spouses. Hallelujah, God, if you allowed us to be able to come, hallelujah, before you one more time to tell you thank you, God. Oh. And for that, God, we can't thank you enough. If we had a thousand or ten thousand tongues, it wouldn't be enough to say thank you, Jesus, for what you have done, God. We ask you to bless all over the land, God. Lord, touch those that are in the nursing homes right now, God. Touch those in the convalescent homes. Touch those in group homes. All those in the hospital, prison bound right now, in the jail houses. And Lord, I ask you to pour out Jesus, your anointing Jesus. right now on each and every yes, one Lord, of us, Lord. God, in the name of and Lord, I ask you to pour out a special oh, blessing on my cousin Cassandra. Hallelujah. Bless her right now, God, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Heavenly Father, you know what she needs, and God, I'm still trusting you. Hallelujah, I'm standing on your word. I'm standing on every promise. Because, God, I know what your word says. And I believe it right now, God. I ask you right now to just have mercy on each one of our souls right now, God. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless the son of man, Heavenly Father. Bless him wherever he may be, God. Lord, we ask you to touch right now in the name of Jesus. Because, God, we know one day. God, we're going to come back for your people, yes, God, Lord. and we want to be ready. We want to be ready. We all be ready when you come, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus Hallelujah, Jesus, my God. I can't thank you enough, thank God, you, Lord God, for everything that you have done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I can't thank you enough, so and I ask Hallelujah. you right now, God, Heavenly Father, to continue to bless that little baby, God. Yeah. Hallelujah, that we prayed for Jesus, him last Jesus, week. We've been keeping him looking before Lord, you, God. You right Touch him right now. Touch you. those lungs right now right in the name now. of Jesus, and bless his mother right now, God. Give her the strength to be able to go through. Hallelujah. And I know you can. And I know that you will, God. And Lord, I ask you right now just to touch us. Lord, heart by heart, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Give us love that we need to yes, be able to Jesus, stand Jesus. against the wiles of the devil. Yes, Lord. God, I know that you can. And I know that you can help us to love more. Lord, I ask you to take out jealousy and strife right now, God. All kind of evil, God. Take it out right now. Anger right now. Take it out right now, God. In the name of Jesus. God, I ask you to bless us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah with the I love. Hallelujah. That stands heart to heart, God. Glory Help us God. right now in the mighty name Glory of Jesus. God. Glory we'll be so forever kept you to give you all the praise. Lord, and I ask you to bless those people out in Texas, God. Ah, Touch God, them right now, God. Because, God, God, I'm going to tell you something. When our power went out, we, wasn't, we didn't have to go through what they going through. But just that little while our power was out, you can feel the difference. Mm. God, I thank you right now, God. Touch them in the name of Jesus. You know what they stand in need of, God. Oh, yeah. Bless your people, God. Touch them in the name of Jesus. Oh. We need you, God. Hallelujah, my God. Yes, sir, Lord. Oh. Touch your people, God. In the name of Jesus. I've never seen them forsaken. Hallelujah, never my God. Righteous Hallelujah, my God. Oh, we thank bread. you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, All these and other yeah. blessings in your darling son, Jesus Christ. We do pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Before we get started, I just want to do a <laughs> shout out to my brother. That's Sam. That's him. The day is his birthday. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, Pop. We God love you. you. Amen. Hallelujah. Happy yes, birthday to you. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Happy birthday to Sam. Happy birthday to you. I love you, brother. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Everybody. Anybody love to praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Come Let's on, y'all. Put your hands together. Mm. Hallelujah. We ain't Come got on. nobody here tonight with us, but we going on in the name of the yes, Lord. We are. Hallelujah. So y'all put y'all hands together and help us sing these songs.
It's because they so weighted with jealousy. Come on, queen. So weighted down with envy and pride. And so weighted down, you know, with just strife and gossip and just so many things. You know what I'm saying? But if you just let all that stuff go, hallelujah, you'll feel so much lighter. Because I'm free. You know what I'm saying? No more chains are holding me. Hallelujah. You know, I don't worry about what this, that, and the other. I don't even focus on that type of stuff. Only thing I focus on is him. Hallelujah. I focus on Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And what his word says. Because I'm going to tell you, he done gave us a map. All we got to do is follow his word. And we'll have a nice life. Hallelujah. So it ain't so all caught up in stuff and things and money. Now we need things. Don't get me wrong. We need things that God will bless you with stuff. He'll bless you with things. But don't let it consume you. Don't let it become your vibe. Don't let it take up all of your time. Jesus. We have to be freed up from all that baggage that we tote around sometimes. Worry nation. We got to learn not to worry. Hallelujah. We got to learn to put it in God's hands. And when we put it in God's hands, leave it there. Hallelujah. Like Mother Pace, you can say. Hallelujah. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. God can have it better than we can. That's why we have to leave it alone. Glory to God. And I'm thankful for that. Being able to leave it in God's hands. Hallelujah. Here we go. Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm free. Yeah. 
Songwriter hallelujah. said, Hallelujah, yes, what a God. thought. Jesus, full salvation brought. Jesus. Victory, yes, victory. Yes, God. Yes, God. Let the powers of sin Jesus. assail, but heaven's grace will never yes, fail. God. Yes, Somebody God. say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, what a joy it is tonight, amen, to come to you by way of Facebook yes, Live. God. Yes, God. Amen. It was looking pretty, it was looking pretty bleak a while yes, ago. It was. Yes, but it was. praise the Lord, God is faithful, <laughs> yes, amen. I thank God for Georgia Power, the, the, uh, <laughs> the technicians, they came and got right on the issue. Praise yes, the Lord. Did. And, yes, they and, did. and it, we took us about it, we about an hour behind. But nevertheless, we are honored yes, to be God. here tonight. Thank Amen. God for my beautiful queen. Praise God. Amen. We're still celebrating birthday. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we God. just thank God for her. Thank God for you tonight. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. God for Who the came on with tonight. us tonight? Glory yes, to God. Yes. Yes. And I want to share. I want to just want to kind of want to just kind of begin. I'm going to lay a little foundational things here tonight, talking about lessons on the journey. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, life is filled, as, as the songwriter said, life is filled with swift transitions. Yes, yes. None on earth unmoved can stand. Yes. This is why we got to build our hopes Come on, now. on things eternal. That's right. You got to hold the God's unchanging hand. hand. You know, life is filled with twists and turns. Yes. Amen. And many times how we how we um, succeed in life, glory to God, it will depend on our ability to know how to roll with the punches. Come on now. In other words, there are some things that are unavoidable in life. There are some things that God is not going to keep us from. Yes. But praise God, he has promised that he would never leave us. That's right. Amen. Even though he doesn't keep us from everything, he will keep us through everything. Come on now. Hallelujah. On. The Bible says, he that keepeth Israel yes. neither slumbers nor sleep. Amen. That's right. That's so we right. just give God praise. Him and to know that that we're not in this thing by ourselves. Come on now. No matter how difficult it looks right now, no matter what you go through, glory to God. It is very comforting to know that we ain't in it by ourselves. Ain't in it by Amen. ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you that God has a purpose for your life. Amen. Yes, He does. The Bible yes, says, Amen. You know the scripture in, in, in Jeremiah. God said through the prophet Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Amen. Hallelujah, chapter 29, amen, verse number 11. Come on Where now. he said, I know the thoughts that I think towards yes, you. In yes. other words, God, in essence, God is saying, I know the plans that I got for your life. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. And, and it gives me, again, it gives me great comfort, Queen, to know that even though our lives may be on the attack, God's plan is still intact. Hallelujah. You may have you may have some disappointments in Come life. Come on now. Life is filled with disappointments. Yes. Amen. You may have disappointments, but That's nevertheless, right. you're not unappointed. That's right. Amen. Amen. God's purpose is still intact. Amen. I want you to hold on to that. No That's matter right. how it looks, Lord That's God, right. that God's purpose and God's plan, God has not changed That's his right. mind That's right. concerning the things that he has said about you. Amen. Amen. Now, we, we're going we're gonna to begin this series, and it's going to take a while, amen, because I, I, I don't believe in rushing through this thing. I believe in trying to lay foundational things, and then, and then we go on, amen, to the, uh, to the structure, and eventually we'll put the roof on the house, amen. <laughs> All right. Glory to God, but we got to lay the floor first, amen. Amen. And as we go through, amen, as we go through, um, Go through life, glory to God. We go through, we, we, there are lessons yes. that we learn along the journey. Amen. That's right. Now, that now, specifically tonight, what I'm going to be talking about is dealing with unmet expectations. All right. Amen. And when we experience, when God delays. Now, there are some times when God does delay. Yeah. Now, I want to tell you that God, uh, uh, that, uh, again, uh, and these, these are more than just cliches. This is something I want you to really make part of your repertoire, make part of your belief system, amen, that God's delays are not God's denial. Yeah. Amen. Just because God telling you to wait doesn't mean that God's saying, I'm not going to do it. Amen. That's right. There are certain things that we have to wait for. That's right. The Bible says, though the vision tarry, wait for it. Amen. Jeez. There are some things that are not going to happen overnight. There are some things that are not going to materialize overnight, glory to God, because many times we're not as ready as we think we yeah. are. Many times God is getting most of the time, I'm going to strengthen right. that, most of the time God is really getting us ready for what he's got ready for us. That's right. God has a purpose even when things don't go exactly as we planned Jesus. it to go. Hallelujah. God, many times God wants us, now this is going to sound strange to you, but I want you to hear me out. 
Many times God wants us to experience disappointments. Jesus. Hallelujah. Disappointments is necessary. Oh, Lord. Disappointments many times is necessary to the journey. Yes. As a matter of fact, disappointments is part of the process. You better talk, honey. It is part of the strengthening Go process. Ahead. In other words, Jesus. you can't get that. There's a strength, amen, that God will has called us to walk in. Jesus. That we can't walk in the strength of God. Yes. Unless we've gone through some difficult places, Jesus. just like an athlete in the gym when he's training, glory to God, Hallelujah! When he's pick, when he when he picks up those weights, glory to God, that force in those weights is called resistance, Amen. Jesus. And the more resistance he experiences, the stronger his muscles become. That's right, Hallelujah. So there are times when ex re resistance is necessary. Amen. In other words, God's not going to let everything just fall in place. That's right. Instantly. Glory instantly. to God. Come there on are now. some hardness. There are some hard places yeah. along the journey. And these are necessary That's places. Right. Hear me, Facebook. That's right. That's these right. things are necessary. This is why Peter said, don't think it, don't, don't, he said, don't think it strange. Don't think something strange happening when stuff start going on. That's right. Hallelujah. Even tonight, it's simpler. It's something as simple as the power going out. Well, Queen and I, we didn't think it was nothing strange. We know the enemy will do everything he can anything. to try to discourage. Right. He'll That's do right. anything he can to try to keep you from doing what God, God wants, you, wants to you to do. Hallelujah. He'll try anything he can, glory to God. No doubt he would He would have loved for us to have to postpone this tonight because somebody, no doubt, on here tonight need to hear what we're saying. Amen. Hallelujah. So many times, glory to God, you never know what people are going through. This is why the Bible tells, this is why the scripture admonishes us, amen, to do good to those when it's in your power that's to do right, good. Don't right. withhold good from people, glory to God, because you never know what people are going through, Jesus. glory to God. So this is why we have to make sure, amen, that we have a heart to reach out for people. And one thing I know the Lord is doing in this season, God is increasing our capacity yeah. to care for people. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said. Amen. I said God is increasing our capacity to care for people. That's and right. the only way God can increase our capacity to care for people is that he has to let us go through stuff. All right now. Come All on right. now. So God has a purpose. Can, yeah. you, can you say that? Say God has a God purpose. God has a purpose. God has a purpose even when we even when things don't go exactly as planned. That's ooh. there are un, now, this is this is strange Jesus. to me. I, I I typed this early today, early this afternoon, and then about an hour and a half later, <laughs> Queen called and said the power's out. Hallelujah. That wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Y'all Jesus. Amen. So I got an object lesson tonight. Glory Jesus. to God. Because things didn't happen the way I expected it That's to. Right. That's Amen. right. That's right. At this time, I was expecting to get ready to go off the air. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. It's, it's, it's 718. I was getting ready to wind it up by now. Amen. But even when things don't go as planned. God has a purpose. Yes, he does. God has a purpose even in the midst of your unmet expectations. That's right. God has a purpose even in the midst of your disappointments. Come on now. Hallelujah. Even in the midst of what you're going through, yes. God has a purpose for it all. Amen. Jeez. When God delays, there are times when God delays. Y'all remember the story? When Jesus got word that Lazarus was sick, Jesus didn't move right Come on then. Now. The Bible says, <clears throat> that he waited four days. Jesus. He didn't move when he first got the yeah. message. He didn't move when the report first came. Jesus delayed. Jesus. Why would he delay? Yeah. And we have to come to the conclusion. We have to come to the reality. We have to come to the understanding that when God delays a thing, it is because the delay is going to cause him to get greater glory. That's right. Hallelujah. And God's delay is going to always be for your betterment. Amen. Amen. That's put, right. I Come want on you to now. Put, I want you to put a pen in that Facebook. Jesus. God's delay uh -huh. is going to always be for your betterment. For your betterment. Amen. Come it's going to always be for your strength. You Amen. About, hallelujah. Some of you getting ready to walk in a strength you didn't even know you had. You better talk hallelujah. now. Come because on. Because God has created a situation. Yeah. Hear me. God has created a scenario, glory to God, that's going to enable you to walk in a strength strength, glory to God. Amen. That you didn't even know you had. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, and God's yes. going to do it. Amen. God is doing it. Hallelujah. Jesus. Listen to me. Hallelujah. God, God's, uh, as we said, delays can be very frustrating. Uh-huh. I said delays Jesus, can delays. be very frustrating. Come on now. Delays can be. They can be frustrating yes. Go ahead, baby. if you don't have the right mindset That's right. when dealing with the delays. Come, now, what I'm trying to get you, what, 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 what my, my objective tonight, glory to God, mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> my objective tonight, queen, is to make sure we maintain the right mindset even when we're delayed. 
You better talk. I, I want you now, to see this. Death. See, somebody's waiting on God right now. Something I can feel yes, this in my right. in, in my spirit. That's You're waiting right. for the Lord to do what you what you believe in He's going to do. Hallelujah. That's right. What That's you believe right. in God's going to do. You waiting on Him to do it. Amen. And you are in a you in a state of delay. Hallelujah. That's right. That's and many right. times you find yourself getting frustrated. Glory That's to God. Right. And many times you trying to explain to people how you feel. Glory to God. And you can tell by the expression on their face that talk, they don't man. even understand don't what you're even talking about. Come Hallelujah. Now. Because they don't understand the essence. They don't understand the magnitude of, of what's going on in your yes. spirit because of your delay. Hallelujah. Jeez. They don't understand. Hallelujah. How difficult it is. And, and, and you really can't find the words to adequately. Amen. You can't find the words to convey what your heart is trying to say. You, you can't tell, tell them because mm -hmm. Because your experience is your experience. Jesus. Your experience is unique to you. Amen. Jesus. Don't get mad because they don't understand. Hallelujah. Right. Because, it, because your experience is your experience. That's right. And people are not going to understand things from your perspective. From your perspective. Because they're not you. You better go. Hey, Listen to me now. Hallelujah. Preach, Listen to me. Listen to me, Facebook. Jesus. Wait, you, hallelujah. Sometimes you find yourself waiting without a timeline. You know, Jesus. I don't mind, you know, just like when we caught, when I called Georgia Power today, amen, and I was talking to the lady, I said, well, how long do you anticipate uh, the power going to be off? She said, well, we are estimating, amen, that the power would be restored around 715. Well, I got, I got depressed. I got, I got frustrated. I said, 715? Golly. She said, well, it's possible that it might come on sooner. Yes, Hallelujah. She did. I said, well, I'm going to hold on to that sooner. Glory to God. But, but, but the, what, what the point I'm trying to say is many times we got to learn how to wait on God. That's right. Watch this without a timeline. That's right. Because That's many right. times God ain't going to tell you when. That's right. That's right. You're not Come hearing on. what I'm saying. Come on now. You, you, many many times God not going to tell you when it's going to happen. He simply says it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And he's telling you to wait. Glory to God. Though the vision tarry, wait for it. He don't always tell you when. So sometimes we got to learn how to wait without a timeline. You better talk now. Without Jesus. a timeline yes, here of yes. expectation. That's right. You what do you do? Wait. What do you do? What do you do when you That's don't have right. a timeline? That's right. That's Hallelujah. Right. Now here's what I want Jesus. you to see this. When you go to 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. Amen. Write that down. Put it in the comments. Uh, write it in your notes. 1 right. Peter. Listen to me. Listen to me, Facebook. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. He says it after. Somebody say after. After. How many know the word after is a time word? A after means after. It means yeah. something has occurred before. Amen. And then after whatever has been, whatever has occurred, then after that, this is getting ready to happen. Yes, Watch, look what yes. God says. First Peter chapter five, verse 10. He says that after you have suffered a little while. Come on now. Now, a little while to us and a little while to God is not the same. It's not the same. <laughs> God's little while and our little while is a, can be miles Different. apart. That's right. You know, the Bible says a day with the Lord is as a thousand years. Jesus. So if that's the case, Jesus only been gone for a couple of days. Come on now. now we, know he's, right. we know he's been gone for 2,000 years. That's right. But in the mind of God, it's, God only, been, it's, only, been, been, it's only been two, two days. days. Now, the interesting part about it, Queen, when, when the clock when when the clock rolled over the year 2,000, glory to God, that was the end of the second millennium. Jesus. Listen to me now. Come on, that was the plan. end of the second day. So now we are, if, if, you, if you hear me by the Holy Ghost, we are in the morning of the third day. Come on now. We're in the morning of the 3,000th year since Christ came and went back to glory. Jeez. So we are in the morning of the third day. Well, if you keep that in your mind, what happened on the third day? Come on now. <laughs> You're not hearing me yet. What happened, on, what happened early that third morning? Come on. Jesus rose from the dead. Hallelujah. So on the third day, glory to God. God, now. watch this. On the third day, things have a way of coming back to life. Hallelujah. Ooh, things you thought was dead. Things that you thought was out of sight. Glory that's to God. Right. But that's First right. Peter chapter, that's right. Thank y'all for typing it in the comments so everybody else can see it. First Peter chapter 5 verse 10. He says, and after you have suffered a little while, yes. hallelujah, the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory uh, in Christ will himself restore. Yes. Confirm Strengthen and establish. Jesus. There are four things God's going to do. That's right. There are four things God is doing in your life while you're delayed. While you are experiencing what looks like a delay. 
while you're in the midst of frustration, while you are in the midst of aggravation, while you're in the midst of, uh, of things looking like it ain't going to work, while you're in the midst of, of things looking like it's going to always be what it's always That's been, right. That's while right. you're in the midst of, amen, trying to trying to piece together sit, uh, search, uh, a situation, while you're trying mm -hmm. to understand the, un the un understandable. That's not a word. I just made that up. She while you're trying to discern the undiscernible. Glory to God. While you're trying to grasp things that are intangible while you're trying to see something that's invisible Jesus. while you're trying to grasp what can't be grasped glory to God while you are grasping at straws and trying to make sense out of nonsense Jesus. while you're trying to make things come together in your mind while you're in the midst of your delay yes. while you're in the midst of your disappointment while you're in the midst of your frustration on, and now. aggravation God says after this after this this is what I'm going to yes. do yes while you're delayed Come on, say, while I'm delayed. While I'm delayed. Come on, say, that's some stuff that's happening. That's some stuff that's happening. While I'm delayed. While I'm delayed. Say it again. Say, there are some things. There are some things. That is happening. That is happening. While I am delayed. While I'm delayed. So while you are delayed, here's what he's doing. He's restoring you. He's confirming you. He's strengthening you. And he is establishing you. Yes, yes. This is what God is doing. That's Amen. That's right. Amen. Thank God for those that are still chiming in. Y'all just come on Amen. on. Good evening, Amen. Everybody. That's Queen said, come on on. Come Hallelujah. on on. While you are delayed. Watch this. See, this is the things you don't understand. While it looked like nothing's happening, something's happening. Jesus. I'm, 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 that, that went over somebody's head. I'm going to say it again. While, while it looks like. Uh huh. It looks like nothing's happening. Yes. Something's happening. Something's happening. What is he doing? Again, why are you delayed? He's restoring you. He's confirming you. He's strengthening you. He's establishing you. Glory to God. What does the word suffer? He said, Peter said, after you suffered a while, whatever that while, whatever that predetermined period of time is in the mind of God, we got to go through that process. Yes, yes. I hate to tell you this, but I got to tell you the truth. There is no shortcut to the process. Amen. Jeez. All of us got to go through our go through. You better tell every one, every of, us, one of us. There is no avoiding it. Ain't Hallelujah. Avoiding. We got to go through our go through because it is necessary. That's this right. is, listen, let me tell you something. Pain is just as necessary as the good, as the good part. The, amen. The Come aggravation is me. On. It is just as necessary. That's Ooh, right. if you understood. Hallelujah. Come on. what I'm saying. Glory to God. To suffer means to endure pain or Jeez. distress. To suffer means to sustain loss or damage. <laughs> to suffer means to, to endure, to have to be subjected to something bad or unpleasant. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Jeez. Anybody ever had to go through something that was, yes, that was bad? Yes. Anybody ever dealt with something that was unpleasant? Yes, anybody ever suffered loss? Yes. Anybody ever suffered damage? That's Hallelujah. Right. Anybody yes. anybody listening tonight had to endure pain? Jeez. Anybody ever been through distress? Hallelujah. Well, if you know what I'm talking about, Gloria, if you've been through that, then I'm talking to you tonight. Jesus, you have on. tuned into the right broadcast tonight. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about suffering. Let me tell you why suffering is so, oh, is suffering is so necessary. Because suffering is how you get experience. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. I'm going to say it again. Suffering is how you get experience. Jesus. Suffering is how God graduates your faith. Gee, ooh. Mm. Come on, say this. Say suffering. Suffering. Is how. Is how. God. God. Grows my faith. Grows my faith. Your faith can only grow. Listen to me, Facebook. Jesus. Faith can only grow in an environment of suffering. Jesus. If faith had never been tested, it can't be trusted. You better talk. Faith can only grow. Listen to me now. Faith can only grow in an environment of suffering. Jesus. Suffering is a necessary component of the process. Come on now. It is unavoidable, glory to God. The very thing you're trying to avoid is the very thing God's leading you into. Oh, glory. But I'm trying to get you to understand. Jesus. If you understand, if you get a hold of this. See, these are lessons. I'm Jesus. talking about lessons that I learned along the journey. That's right. These are lessons, glory yeah. to God. These are things that we learned along the way. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Now, now let, 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 let me move on. Let, let me let me let me catapult a little bit more here. Glory to God. I'm gonna drive just a little bit longer and I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off here. Hallelujah. Unmet expectations. Yeah. We've all had unmet expectations. We've all had things that we thought was going to be one way, uh -huh. but it turned out a whole another way. way. Hallelujah. We all, we all expected certain things to happen, but yes. in the final analysis, uh -huh. what you thought was going to happen, happen, the exact opposite happened. happened. Amen. Oh, what do you Lord. do? Because many times, if you're not careful, again, if you don't handle the scenario right, glory to God, unmet expectations can, need, can lead to disconnection. 
Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, now let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me let me let me get let me paint you a scenario of what I'm talking about. Amen. At when when Jesus was crucified, amen. They thought Jesus would be the one, hallelujah, that 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 God would use to free them. And Jesus was, in fact, the one that God used to bring about, amen, the new covenant. Amen. Yes. But now, but now what they were talking, what they were mistakenly thinking, they thought that Jesus was coming to set up some earthly kingdom. That's right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And Jesus implicitly said that my kingdom is not of this world. Jesus. Hallelujah. He said, he said, I didn't come to set up an earthly, mm -hmm. uh, er, er, earthly reign. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, my kingdom is from a different world. Amen. Listen to me now. Hallelujah. Amen. So they, so when Jesus was crucified, there were two men. One of them name was Cleophas. Mm -hmm. Cleopas. And there were two men. They were on their way to Emmaus. Mm -hmm. On the road to Emmaus. Now you'll find this, put this in the notes, in the 24th chapter of the gospel according to St. Luke. Luke 24, you start at verse 13 and you go through verse 35. I'm not going to try to read all that for you. Amen. I'm not going to do your homework for you. Amen. I want you to do your own homework. Luke chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. Write it in the comments. Read it when we go off the air tonight. Hallelujah. But when you, when you look at Luke 24, verse 13 through 35, you read about those two disciples on the road to Emmaus. Mm -hmm. And they were very sad and they were very disappointed. They Amen. They had queen. They had unmet expectations because things didn't happen the way they thought it was going to happen. Jesus. Amen. How many? Amen. How, how many? How many of you know they didn't? They didn't expect Jesus to be crucified. They thought Jesus was going to raise up an army and overthrow Caesar. They thought he was going to overthrow Rome. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So when Jesus went to the cross and was crucified, Amen. They dropped their head in in, in depression. Amen. They dropped their heads in despair. Hallelujah. Because things didn't happen the way they thought. It was going to happen. Amen. Mm. Just like us. Many times things don't happen the way we think That's they're going right. to happen. That's Many times right. things doesn't play out. That's Amen. Right. Hey man, I could think back in my life, in the early part of my life, I made decisions. I made, I made choices. Amen. That I thought was going to be one way and it turned around to be a whole nother way. Amen. Way. Amen. Why? And what, what little, little did I realize, Queen, while I was disappointed, God was setting me up. That's why. Right. See, Ooh. you're not hearing what I'm saying. Yet, Come Facebook. on now. Come while on now. While you disappointed, God, yes. you're not hearing this yet. God setting you up. Amen. While you in despair, glory. I'm trying to get you to lift up your head. Glory to God. Because, amen. I remember, I and Sister Sarah, she remembered this, I think. We went to the prison. We have a prison ministry. And I pray for our brothers. We haven't been able to go out there in some time now because of the pandemic. But I remember a message that I preached at the prison, at Ware State Prison. And my subject was being stuck is an option. It's not an obligation. Come on now. I said being stuck is an option. It is not an obligation. In other words, you are not obligated to stay stuck. Jesus. It's only an option. Amen. Hallelujah. I said it to say this. Even when you think you are, when you think forward mobility has been stifled. Amen. When you think that there's no hope whenever you are delayed. Amen. Little did you, little do you realize many times it is at the most difficult places in your life. Amen. It's when God is getting you ready to experience the greatest miracle that you've ever experienced. Amen. It is when you at your lowest place. Woo! Am I telling the truth? You better talk It is now. when you're at your lowest you place. Talk. I said it's when you're at your lowest place. God, brother, just jumped in. Jesus. It's when you're at your lowest place. Amen. Yes. It's when God can do his best work. You better talk. Say I it said, again. I said God can do his best work when you're at your lowest place. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, hallelujah. Yes, sir. Uh, somebody say hallelujah. Jesus. Come on, say Ooh, no. Come glory. On. Come, on. Come on. Somebody say don't be distracted. Yes, don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't get it twisted. Glory to God. You Amen. I might look low, but I'm getting ready to go high. That's hallelujah. right. That's right. Un but now here's what I want you to see. Now let's get back to these brothers again before I get sidetracked. These two guys were walking along the road to Emmaus and they were depressed. They were in distress. They were in a state of depression. Amen. On, because they were so disappointed. Amen. Because in their mind, it looked like it was all over. Yeah. Jesus had died and they had buried him and it looked like it was all over. Hallelujah. Jesus, come so on. here they were walking along the road to Emmaus. Amen. And when you get to verse 21, amen, in Luke chapter 24. Now, again, the, the, again, the backdrop, the background text is Luke 24, verses 13 through 35. Y'all put it in your notes a while ago. You put Jesus. it in the comments. Come on, but when you get to verse 21, you see the, a comment where one of the brothers said, we were hoping. Jesus. We were hoping, hoping. he was the one. Mm. 
He really was the one. Come on. Now. But the only problem is he didn't come the way they thought he was yeah, going to come. come. Oh. He didn't do it the way they thought. See, this is what I'm saying. Don't lock God up into you your little box. Talk. Don't don't lock God. Listen to me, Facebook. Listen to me, family. Come on, come come look. Come, come. come on, look closer to the. Come on. Come, somebody said, "Come look closer to the radio." Come on, Hallelujah. Look close. Come Hallelujah. Look close. Come on, come look on. closer. Hallelujah. Don't lock God into your way of thinking. Hallelujah. Because That's God it. is That's bigger, than how, bigger than how you think. The Bible says, "My ways are not your ways." Your way. God says, "My thoughts are not, not your thoughts. thoughts." Hallelujah. You think He's gonna do it one way, and God got a whole, whole different other thing way. in it. Oh! You don't know who God's gonna use. Yes. To get you where he want to take you. You better talk. You don't know how God's got it set up. Hallelujah. Amen. You let God worry about the how. You just be the who. Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Ow. Listen to me. They said we were hoping. I got this. I got you that. better I talk. Got, I got to show you this. Hallelujah. Jeez. Luke 24. Let me get there real yes, quick. Sir. Yes, it won't sir. Take me but a minute. Luke Jeez. 24. Watch this, Facebook. Oh, Hallelujah. Lord, Glory to God. Lord. Luke chapter 24. Yeah. And Come verse on. 21. They said we were hoping. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said we were hoping. We were hoping. We, we, we were hoping we he were was hoping the one. That he was the one. Come we on. were hoping. Oh, my goodness. Come on, we. Yeah, watch this. Hallelujah. Here it is. Here it is, right here. Here it is. Come here on, it is. Verse 21. Yeah. They said we were hoping. Yeah. Hallelujah. We had, King James says, but we had trusted uh -huh. that it would be he uh -huh. which, which should have redeemed Israel. We were hoping that he was the one. We were hoping, amen, that it was going to be him. But after all this that happened today, it's been three days uh -huh. since these things had happened. Come on now. I said three days. Three. It's, it's been three days. Three. Since this has happened. Yes. And we ain't seen no sign of him yet. Yes. And they didn't know it Come was on. him that they was talking to. Jeez. Look at somebody and say he was there all the time. He was there all the time. <laughs> yes, sir. They didn't even know that he that was talking to him. Hallelujah. They were on their way to a man's head all dropped down, all sad, <laughs> all despondent, yeah. all in a state of depression. Glory to God. We were hoping that it was going to be him. It's been three days later and ain't nobody heard from him. And he was walking with him. Jesus, the whole way. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah. Somebody say glory. Glory. Hallelujah. He, we, we, we were hoping. And then Jesus began to explain to me. He said, oh, you fools. Come on. And slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Amen. Hallelujah. He came to suffer. He came to do what he did. That's right. Amen. Just like suffering was a part of what he did, That's right. suffering is a part of our life. The Bible says if Jesus Christ suffered in the flesh, we got to arm ourselves That's likewise. Right. We got right. to go through some things. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. See, these disciples, these two disciples, they had mindsets and they had expectations that were not met. Amen. So they were disappointed. Watch this. Even though the Lord was right there walking with them. Amen. But they were so disappointed that they could not see it was him. Him. Hallelujah. Right. Let me tell you something about disappointment. Amen. If you're not careful, you can be so overcome by disappointment. If you're not careful, you can be so overcome by unmet expectation Jesus. that it will rob you, or rob you of your ability to see that the Lord is still involved in your life. That's Listen right. to me. I don't care how difficult or how hard it looks right now. You still got to be persuaded, glory to God, that the Lord is still involved in the affairs of my life. That's right. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what it looked like. Amen. See, again, they were in such a place they were in such a state of disappointment that the bible says their eyes were beholding they they could they didn't even know it was jesus that were walking with them amen it was a seven mile walk amen and for seven miles jesus walked with them all That's the right. way down to emmaus Jeez. and they were so disappointed that the unmet expectation caused them to become disconnected jesus they begin to withdraw watch this they left Jerusalem, and they were on their way to Damascus. They began to withdraw from the place of call. Wow. Mm. They began to talk and reason among themselves. Mm. They began to talk and reason among themselves in ways that was contrary to what God's word and what God's purpose is. Uh -huh. See, this is what disappointment, if you're not careful, will cause you to do. Disappointment, if you're not careful, will cause you to entertain that's right. a kind of thinking that's contrary to what God has said. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Queen, they were sad. Sad. Now, let me tell you something about sadness. Sadness is a strange thing. We all, now, this is what the Lord, I put this in my notes. The Lord spoke this in my spirit today. He said, it is a difference. The Holy Ghost said there is a difference between experience, experiencing sadness and becoming a sad person. That's true. He Amen. said everybody at some point in their life experience sadness. sadness. Come on, say sadness. Sadness. Is an experience. Is an experience. 
Say, but our purpose is. But our purpose is, is to not let sadness. To not let sad become a person. Become a person. Jesus. I want you to let that soak in. Jeez. Sadness is an experience, not an identity. That's right. I have moments of sadness. That's right. That's right. I have had events of great sadness. But by definition, I'm That's not right. a sad person. That's right. Come on, say I'm not a sad person. Say that about yourself. Right there where you're sitting, right there watching us. Say this. Say, I'm not a sad person. I'm not a sad person. I've experienced sadness. I've experienced sadness. But I'm not a sad but person. But I'm not a sad person. What, what does that mean? That means I refuse to give sadness an identity. That's right. That's right. It is something, it is something you go through. Sadness is just something you go through. Amen. It is not what you become. That's right. All right. Let's go on now. Hallelujah. Sadness calls... Amen. It caused you to be unable to see. Amen. Sadness will rob you of your ability to see clearly. That's right. That, what, what does that mean? That means that they needed a fresh encounter, Queen. Jesus. They needed a fresh encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Amen. almost finished. Give me about five or six more minutes and I'm going to wrap it up here. They needed a fresh encounter. Amen. That's right, Facebook. We experience sadness, but, but we don't become. Sad. We That's don't right. become sad. That's right. I experience I, sadness is something we feel. That's right. But it's not what we're supposed what, to become. Not what we are. That's Don't right. become sad. Don't become sad. Feel it? Yes. Go through it? Yes. When somebody dies, we feel that sadness. Yes, we do. When somebody dies, we feel that grief. That part that's a necessary part of your healing. That's right. Grieving is a part of the healing. Jesus. We feel it, but don't become it. Don't let sadness and grief overtake you. Yes. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Amen. Don't become it. Feel it, but don't become don't it. Don't become it. That's right. That's Just right. like anger. You can feel anger, anger. but don't, don't become be angry. That's right. That's don't right. Don't become an angry person. Amen. That's be right. angry, but don't lose your temper. That's don't right. lose control. Amen. I experience sadness, but I'm not a sad person. But I'm not person. a sad person. I want y'all to hold oh, on to that. Oh, glory. That's going to help y'all in the in That's the, right. That's going to help you in these months to come. Amen. Especially in these times of pandemic. Amen. Loved ones moving off the scene. You, you got to hold on to these words with Pastor saying tonight. Jesus. Hold to these words. They're going to be right. health. These words going to be health to your flesh. Yes, Amen. Yes, Experience the sadness. Experience it, but don't become it. Jesus. Hallelujah. They needed a fresh encounter with Jesus. They needed mm -hmm. fresh revelation. Yes. They needed a fresh perspective. Glory That's to God. Right. They That's needed right. to be they needed to be rejoined, Queen. They needed, Come on now. They needed to be reconnected. Hallelujah. Amen. They needed to have a new fire. A lot of these folks going to church, they needed they need a new fire. Jesus. They need a new baptism of fire. They need a new passion. Hallelujah. That's right. I said they need a new passion. That's Glory right. to God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. They need a they need a fresh experience. That's right. That's right. We need a fresh move of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. We do. A lot of us have never had a move of the Holy Ghost, mm. but we need a fresh move. It's not enough to talk about what God used to do. Not enough. To, it's not good. Enough to, it's not good enough to talk about the good time we used to have. Used to have. Why we can't have it now? glory. Why can't we have a good a good ex experience and a God encounter when we come together as believers now? Jesus. What do we need to focus on? Now, let me get you set up for the next time. Amen. We're talking about lessons along the journey now. Let Amen. me set you up for next time. Next time I'm going to talk to you about Moses. Come on When Moses you. was on the backside of the desert queen for 40 years and Moses was depressed. He was disappointed. Can you imagine walking around Depressed and disappointed for 40 years. Jesus. I'm going to show you for 40 years, Moses was walking around in depression. For 40 years. Mm. From the time Moses grew up and became a man and the time, by the, and, and the time he slew that Egyptian. And when Moses left Egypt, a fugitive. Forget about that movie you saw on TV, The Ten Commandments. That's not what the Bible says. Pharaoh didn't turn Moses out. Moses left Egypt running for his life because he had killed an Egyptian. Moses left Egypt as a fugitive. Jesus. He was on the run. Mm -hmm. And he and his run, his run led him all the way to the wilderness. Jesus. Where he said he he left Egypt at age 40 and God waited until he was 80 years old. Mm -hmm. And when Moses became 80 years old, God started Catching his bushes on fire. Jesus. 
Next time I'm going to talk about that bush because some of y'all right now, you don't re some of you hadn't recognized it, but some of y'all right now, God is setting your bushes on fire, Jeez. but you don't recognize the bush burning mm. because you've been too distracted. Hallelujah. I'm going to teach you how to see a burning bush That's right. that because all of us have at, at certain moments, at certain moments, at certain predetermined, pre-prescribed moments in our life, God intends for us to draw near burning bushes. All of us have our own unique burning bush That's right. that we have to draw near, draw near and hear the voice of God Amen. in the midst of the flames That's because right. the bush is on fire Jesus. but it ain't burning up Jesus. hallelujah it's on fire but it's not being consumed Jesus. hallelujah God won't let the bush burn up and he won't let the fire go out Jesus what do you do when the thing won't burn up Come on now. but then the fire won't, won't go, go out? out what yeah. you do what do you do I tell you what you do you draw near so you can hear God's voice yeah Yes. Some of you got something burning in you. You guys burn it. It won't burn up, but the fire won't go out. Jesus. What do you do? Tune in next time. Amen. We're going to talk about it. <laughs> oh, you don't want to miss this. Lessons on the journey. All right now. Dealing with unmet expectations. Yes. And when God delays, God has a purpose for the delay. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. All right, let's turn the corner, <laughs> Queen. Hallelujah. Somebody on this Praise broadcast, somebody has tuned in here with us tonight. Amen. They need the Lord Jesus Christ in their life. Amen. And as Queen gonna Queen gonna give up, she's gonna get a mic and she's gonna tell you shortly that there is nothing better Jesus. in life than knowing Jesus. Amen. I don't care what you try to do, what you try to Amen. accomplish in life, you are ill equipped for life without Jesus That's Christ. That's right. That's right. I don't care what it is. I don't care how smart you think you are. That's right. That's I don't care right. what university you went through. Amen. Come I don't care how many degrees you got behind your name. That's right. Just because you are intelligent, let me say it another way. Come on now. Just because you are educated <laughs> don't mean you're intelligent. Jesus. <laughs> and people get that misconstrued, Queen. People think because they've been to college, they're intelligent. Please understand, <laughs> I'm not against going to college. Going to college is a wonderful thing. Yes, it is. We went to college. <laughs> Both of us, we, have, we, got, we got college courses on our belt as well. <laughs> Amen. But the best thing you could ever do is to come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. Hallelujah. Nothing better. Matter of fact, that's the greatest accomplishment that I have ever accomplished in my life. It's when I gave my life to Christ. Hallelujah. Now, he didn't say the way was going to be easy. Hallelujah. But he said a way would be made. All you got to do is make it up in your mind. Hallelujah. Uh, to come to him. Hallelujah. Come as you are. Hallelujah. If you're broken hearted, come to him. Hallelujah. If you're confused, come to him. If you're down and depressed, busted and disgusted, come to him. Hallelujah. It's nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah. Just come. Come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just come. That you ever done in your life. Hallelujah. Don't you let nobody fool you. The greatest accomplishment. I've done some, some things in my life that I'm proud of. Hallelujah. And I've done some things that I'm not so proud of. Yes, Lord. But the greatest thing, the best decision I ever made in my life is when I gave my life to Christ. Hallelujah. And I'm so happy. God is so good. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 
than knowing Jesus. Right now, right now, today, just come. What's that part? Come on, come on. Say that part. Come on in with us now. Hallelujah. Those of you who the Lord has pricked your yes. heart tonight, you're sitting there, you're trying to make sense out of nonsense. Jesus. You're trying to piece, you're trying to take the pieces of your own life and put them back together. Let me help you. You can't do it. There Jesus. was an old nursery rhyme that said, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty had a great, had a great fall. fall. All the king's horses and all the king's couldn't men put <laughs> couldn't put Humpty together again. Wonder why nobody ever asked the king. <laughs> the king's horses and the king's men couldn't do it. Why did somebody ask, ask the king? The king, huh? the king is the one that can put hum old Humpty back together. Jesus. The king is the only one that can put your life Amen. together again. Amen. There was a song Praise I started to ask Queen to sing this, but I, maybe we'll do it next time. But the, the, the potter's house, oh. in case you have fallen by the wayside of life, Amen. dreams and visions shattered, you are broken, broken inside. inside. You, you don't, don't have, have to work. stay yes, right. in, in the, the sh shape that, that you mean. Why? Because the potter wants, wants to put, to you, put you together, together again. again. You who are broken, yeah. stop by. The potter's house. You who need mending, stop, stop by, by the potter's house. What would he do? He'll mm -hmm. build the fragments of your broken, broken life. Jesus. Just give it to him. Give it to him. Give yourself to him. Amen. Nothing better than, Nothing knowing, better Jesus. than knowing Jesus. I'm going to pray. I'm going to Amen. ask Queen to pray after me. You pray along with Queen. Amen. And let us give us the privilege of ushering you into the kingdom of God. Amen. Every head is bowed right Amen. now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Dear God in heaven. Dear God in heaven. I come to you. I come to you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. For my sins. For my sins. And how I've lived. And how I've my lived. My life. My life. I've tried it my way. I've tried it my way. And all my way has and done. And all my way has done. It's gotten me heartache. It's got me heartache. Headache. Headache. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. But now, Lord. But now, Lord. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Your word says. Your word says. If any man. If any man. Thirst, thirst. Come unto you. Come unto you and drink. And drink. Another place you said. Another place you said. He that come to me. He that come to me. I will in no wise. I will in no wise cast him out. Cast him out. Father, I come. Father, I come. Just as I am. Just as I am. Without one plea. Without one plea. But that your blood. That your blood was shed for me. Was shed for me. And you are bidding me. And you are bidding me. Come to thee. Come to thee. O Lamb of God. O Lamb of God. I come. I come. Father in my heart. Father in my heart. I believe. I believe. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Came. came he died. Died. He was buried. Buried. He was crucified. He was crucified. Buried. Buried. And the third day. And on the third day. He rose from the he dead. He rose from the dead. I believe that. I believe that. In my heart. In my heart. Now with my mouth. Now with my mouth. I confess. I confess. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. As Lord. As Lord. Of my life. Of my life. Father right now. Father right now. I believe. I believe. Jesus. Jesus. Is coming into my heart. coming into my heart. I believe I'm cleansed. I believe I'm cleansed. I believe I'm washed. I'm washed. I believe I'm sanctified. I believe I'm sanctified. Justified. Justified. Right now. Right now. By faith. By faith, I confess. I confess. Jesus, Jesus is my Lord. Is my Lord, and I am saved. And I am saved. In Jesus' name. And Jesus. Somebody name. say Amen. Amen. All right. Praise Hallelujah. God. Let's give the Lord praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nothing better than. It's nothing better. My voice. I'm hoarse tonight. I tell you the truth. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I don't know my throat, but uh, y'all pray right. for me. <laughs> pray for me. 
Jesus. We just give God praise. Thank Amen. y'all so much. Again, we apologize for yes, the delay, but yes. God knows. Yes. We're just so grateful that we actually, actually had an opportunity God. to come in. Amen. And to spend this time Amen. with you guys. Amen. Amen. We We're thank so y'all for jumping beautiful. on with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank y'all so much. Praise God. Glory to God. And I just want to thank all those Amen. that came on later on tonight. You know, it was a, it, evidently it was something that God wanted somebody else to hear that probably couldn't come on at the normal time that we come on. So, you know, God has a way. He has so, a way. So, like you was talking about the delay, even though we have delays, it doesn't mean it's a, it's not a blessing in the delay. That's right. So, somebody got blessed on tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody got this word that needed to hear it. So, you know, God do things in ways we'll never understand. That's right. You know, and I know um, a few people had talked to me about us coming on a little later because of the fact that they get off work late and they have to go back. They said, we want to watch you guys live. We have to go back and watch the replay. But that's something that me and my husband have discussed. I know we, we kind of like to stay within that time frame, but... Anyway, we're going to talk about that. Maybe we can't come on a little bit later, Hallelujah. you know, so other people will get a chance to chime in and be a part of the live, Amen. you know, but we want to thank you guys so All much right. for bearing with us because That's I'm right. going to tell you right at the last minute, the power just went out, you yeah. know, and, and sometimes things are like that are happening in life. You know, it's beyond our control. That's right. But we give God all the praise for allowing us to still come on and do our life. My baby sister said, I need that life because that carries me through the rest of the week. I have something to watch. So anyway, I'm so thankful that we were actually able to go forward in with the live on tonight. I want to thank uh, my posse. They're not here with us on tonight. That's right. You know? So anyway, we, we just... We, we went in with me and my husband and the good master up above, but we, we was managed to get through it. Thank you all for coming on. Miss Holman, I see you on. Hallelujah. Um, Linda Williams, she came on a little later. Just thank you all for chiming in and just giving us some time on Monday night to be a part of the New Beginnings Prayer Ministry. We thank God. I thank God for my sister-in-law, Sarah. I call her our Facebook usher. That's right. I'm telling you, when you come on Facebook, you gonna be ushered by my uh my, my uh, sister-in-law. She gonna usher you. You hear what I say? So I thank God for her. Thank God for uh just everybody. And I wanna do another shout out to my brother. Hallelujah, and say, I love you, Pop. Hallelujah. 54 looks good on you, brother. And I am so thankful for allowing him to be able to see another year. God is so good. We love you too, Linda. Hallelujah. <laughs> And the Sarah drinks some water, sister. Y'all sing us one last song. <laughs> Lord have mercy. But anyway, we thank you guys. We thank you so much. I thank God for my sister Gilda. She was on. I didn't see Felicia on. She probably gonna go back and watch later. Yeah. Uh, Pop probably doing the birthday thing on tonight. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. But they um they come on every Thursday at seven. What's was I always love you? All right, you guys. Nothing oh. else. We're gonna get ready to call it a night now. Hallelujah. Oh, girl, I'm tired now. It's past my bedtime. See, that's another reason. Two, eight o'clock, I start yawning. I get real sleepy, y'all. All right now. But anyway. <laughs> well, God's got a way Thank you, that baby. you can't go over. God's got a way that you can't go under. Sent our heart to you. Yes, we, we love do. You. We're yes, praying, we do. queen. 
Queen, we're praying for everybody. We pray, we pray for our viewers. We pray for you guys. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. Praise inbox God. is your we prayer do. request. Yes. Amen. Yes. Don't, 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 yes. Put your, don't put your business all out in the open, but inbox That's us. Right. That's Amen. Right. And we promise you we'll Amen. take your Amen. needs to the Lord yes, in prayer. God. We, will, we will gather our faith with yours. Yes, God. And we will believe God right yes, along God. with you. Amen. Yes, God. We, we love y'all. Thank, thank y'all for too. tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. And God bless you. And we'll see you next week. We don't know what time. We're going to decide on that. We may come on just a little bit later to give everybody <laughs> time enough to come on so they can be a part of the live. Amen. But, but we'll but we thank you guys. All right. God bless y'all. Have Love a good night. Bye-bye.